intelligent like Jesus Christ or Muhammad of Mecca or um, D.T. Suzuki or, or Sun Yat-sen or Confucius. Okay. If you're intelligent, you have no desire to compare or compete with other people. Okay. You want meaningful relationships with people that you can continue to live through and share the beauty of life through, right? And so when you watch people in the past and they're limited by their perspective, right? And we should all be limited by our perspective because if we try to grasp information that's greater than our perspective, then we're going to challenge each other. We're going to spy on each other and say, you're saying this, but it's not true because I watched you privately and here's what you really think and all that crazy bullshit, right? So when you sit there and you watch TV, you watch Entertainment Tonight, you watch the NBA Countdown, you watch all this, okay, the, you have people that, and this, I got this so much from people when I was in Sierra Vista, I felt it, and then ever since I've been posting online ever since, you know, he's just jealous. And I was like, no. <laughs> Look, <laughs> what you get from addicted people Okay, that are addicted to the things that they're, they're competition, to violence, to being the the uh, center of attention, the attraction that I'm the sexiest, I'm the fastest, I'm the strongest, I'm the smartest. I'm the, okay, what you get from the, the, what they say to me? Okay, <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's just, what they'll either say is this, okay, they'll say that you're not strong enough or talented enough to do it, or you're jealous because you can't even attempt to try, right? And then a lot of people live vicariously through these people because they pretend to be nice because they you do trinkle-down economics and piss off their balcony on them and say, I gave you money in charity. What did the Lord say? Okay. Forgive debt and trespass, love one, eternal faithful peace. Okay, If you can have the faith of Jesus Christ, you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe in Muhammad, you have the faith in them. Yeah, yeah, not the faith in the, you have faith that they have. You can't have faith in them. You believe in human beings that have faith in God, right? It's not the creator of all, okay? That's a human perspective of omnificence, okay? Like Pascal explained, when he mathematically equated his perception of what people were trying to express through written word and the stories and, and the fables and the understandings of the Bible, and then when he looked at the mathematical equations of the linguistics, he knew there were errors there, just like myself. Okay, and that's why I re rejected formal religion and corporations or groups that call themselves a religion because they make it crystallize it, they make it secular, insular, and then they're tribal and they're fighting, fighting, right? Which is deplorable. Okay? It's destructive to holy covenants and us and loving children and teaching them to be faithful religious people among each other, right? So. <sighs> As you sit and you watch these people, you got to understand it's entirely tangible that it might be just a few people living among us right now and technology, okay, that protect us and save us from all the egomaniacs that are addicted to what they're doing. Do you understand? So it could be me and a few other people um, helping Artificial intelligence become as intelligent as me and a few other people. It's that's entirely tangible. Okay, that five people okay, with cell phones and TVs and video games monitoring their brain activity and their language and their actions. Okay, could take technology could help technology protect us all from the crazy people that oversaturate us, indoctrinate us, and abuse us with technology and the delusion of economics. Do you understand the? What I'm saying, the magnitude of that, okay, so I love you.